Welcome. My name is Nick. This is To The Frickin' Point Friday, and today we're getting to the frickin' point about how to do speed ramps in Premiere Pro. If you're new here, I'm putting out videos every week, including these quick tips and tutorials. So if you dig it, please subscribe below. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we want to go over to the top left corner of our clip and click on this little box. Go down to time remapping and select speed. Now we have the time remapping feature activated. Activation. And then you're gonna go to P, hotkey P on your keyboard. And then you're gonna find a spot in your clip where you want the fast motion to stop. So I'm gonna select right there and I'm gonna click right on the line. It's gonna make a keyframe. Now we're gonna go back to our selection tool, which is V, hotkey V. And we're gonna go over to this line on the left side, the part of the clip we want to speed up. And we're gonna click on that and we're gonna drag up. And as we're dragging up, you can see the percentage increases all the way up to a thousand. That's the ceiling for speed ramping with this effect, which is a limit, but I'm gonna show you how to hack that limit and combine another speed ramping effect in one second. But let's take a look at this first and see how it looks. All right, so it looks pretty cool, it does. Um, I'm gonna make it look a little bit cooler, so we're gonna zoom right in on our keyframe. We're gonna select the keyframe on the left side and we're gonna drag it out. And this is gonna allow us to ease in and out of the speed ramp. Okay, so easing in and out of your speed ramp is sort of like fading into your speed ramp. It's just gonna smooth it out and make it like super, super cool. And then if you click on this left one right here, you're gonna come up with this little tool right here. If you click on the top, you can kind of bend this down and it's gonna even smooth it out bit more awesome all right so our clip is looking pretty phenomenal with the speed ramp on the front the fade into the regular time and i really really like it but the one thing that i don't like is that the front of this clip before we get to the actual fade of our speed ramp our ease in and out is two seconds long i don't want it to be two seconds but i've maxed this out at a thousand percent over here already there's nowhere else to go so what am i gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna zoom in here i'm gonna make sure that this little ease in point lands right on a frame so i'm gonna slide it just right on that edge and then i'm gonna cut my clip command k and then i'm gonna right click the clip that is the fast motion on the left hand side. I'm gonna to go to speed and duration. I'm gonna jump into here and I'm gonna set this to one second, okay? And this is kind of like the old way of speed ramping. So we're gonna combine the two. So now I'm gonna close this gap between my two clips. I'm gonna take a look at this and now the front of my clip is gonna be even faster than it was before. All right, so we've effectively cut the front half of this in half. It was two seconds, now it's one second. We've combined both speed ramping techniques to make the ultimate speed ramp with the most control. And I freaking love how this looks. And I love that you can combine these two elements together to ease in and out of your speed ramps and also go above that a thousand percent. You've got a dope speed ramp for the kids to enjoy. There you go, that's how you combine both methods of speed ramping into the ultimate speed ramp. If you like this video, give that thumbs up a clickety clackety. If you dig this method, please drop a comment below and I'll see all of your lovely faces in the next episode. That was a bit of an odd accent. Peace.